You guys, guess what, guess what, guess what? I'm so excited. My period is officially back. This is so crazy. Um, and I did it the natural, healthy way. No medications, no crazy supplements or prescriptions, just eating food and focusing on my health. I'm so excited. You know, I hate having a period because I have endometriosis and my periods are hell, but cheers to freaking health. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know this has been a journey. Um, <laughs> I've only had two periods since June of 2022. Almost two years, you guys. This is awful. This is the most I've ever lost my periods with competing. Um, but as you guys all know, I've stayed very lean for the last two years. So cheers to health oh <laughs> i'm so happy right now it's like just knowing that you're you're getting healthy again is huge it is huge i'm excited so what's up guys okay so i just got this in the mail gatsby chocolate um so they reached out to me on instagram and asked if they could send me some chocolate to try and i'm so excited to try these um so it is only 180 calories for the whole bar one third of the bar, which is 27 grams, is only 60 calories. And I normally will eat only like five grams of chocolate just to get a little bite. So huge, like this is such great calories. Um, very natural, um, what am I trying to say? Ingredients I'm reading right now, like, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. So they have fudge brownie, sea salt, extra dark. You guys know I'm a huge dark chocolate person. Oh, look at this. Chocolate is our love language. And you guys know I'm doing this challenge right now, so I'm going to actually weigh this. I wouldn't normally, in my off season and what I've been doing lately, weigh my chocolate or something like this in general. I would probably just tear a little piece off. So here's one square, and it's so cute. I don't know if you can see, it has a little martini on it. One square, let's see how many grams it is. Three grams for one square. My take on this is very, very, very cocoa flavor. It's not sweet at all, which I like because I don't like milk chocolate. Very strong cocoa flavor. I would give it probably a seven out of 10, but it's good and the macros are amazing. So for that alone, I love it and I can't wait to incorporate this in my daily routine. All right, I guess I should try this other one as well. The, uh, what's this one called? Fudge brownie. This one is a little more, I guess you would say sweeter, milkier taste. They're both really good though. Very, very good, I like them both. I don't, honestly, I don't know which one I like better. I would definitely get these, honestly, for the macros and the taste. If you're counting calories, tracking macros on a diet, try this out. So you can order online or you can get it at Walmart. Um, I like it. Mm. Thank you, Gatsby. Good. I, mean, I love the martini on there. Good morning guys, what's up? So I just got done with my fasted cardio, um, drinking my greens, and I've been doing glutamine. It's good for digestion, recovery, you know, all kinds of stuff. So I've been doing my greens, a scoop of glutamine. I used to take glutamine a lot and then I ran out and I just didn't get any for a while, but Cellucor hooks me up. So if you guys want to get some good glutamine, I really like this one. It's unflavored, but you can mix it in anything. It's got very good um, ingredients and quality. So check out cellucor.com and use code Ashley to save 
And I've really been liking these Alpha Amino BCAAs Performance. Um, I got the Icy Blue Raz. So this is Cellucor also. Um, I'm really liking this one. I always do just half a scoop because one scoop is just overly too sweet for me. So half a scoop of that, one scoop of glutamine, one scoop of greens. I was doing um, beetroot powder, but I ran out and I just didn't get any more. I probably should, but I haven't. So anyways, you guys, so what's going on? Today is officially day 15 of my challenge. Um, I haven't had any cheat meals nothing untracked you guys i've had the lights a couple times but i tracked that it's a low calorie ice cream that they have here in florida there's some in texas too so if you're in texas check it out um i actually have it in prep all the way up until i'm four weeks out so i've been having the lights since 2019 it's my favorite little treat but anyways so i'm down 2.8 pounds from when i started this challenge um, yeah, so I'm down 2.8 pounds. I feel like my stomach's a little tighter. I did start my period, so I got my period back. Um, and yeah, I mean, the goal wasn't really to lose weight necessarily. It was just to tighten up my core and just kind of really to try and get my period back to be healthy, you know, and, um, it's back. So Anyways, a lot's been going on. As you guys know, I lost my grandpa unexpectedly. Um, it's three weeks ago. Maybe it's been, no, it's been exactly one month ago today. Wow, time is flying by. Um, it just opens up your eyes to life. It was really unexpected and he was perfectly fine. And then four days later, he's gone. And then yesterday, Nick and I lost um, one of Nick's fishing buddies that we both have known for about 13 years now. I used to fish tournaments with Nick and we fished against him and his buddy all the time. He was perfectly fine yesterday morning. We don't know all the details yet, but he passed away unexpectedly. He was in his forties, so it's pretty young. So, you know, it just, it made Nick pretty upset and he was just telling me, you know, Ashley, this challenge is stupid. Like I'm over here visiting him this weekend. So Nick had to start working over um, in Tampa. So I've been, we've been going back and forth. I, I think I told you guys that in one of my previous videos. So we've been going back and forth. And this weekend we were going to go explore um, some different little cities on the coast over here. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to pack my meals and let me get all my stuff. And he just like kind of got really upset. And he was like, Ashley, life is so short. Look at all these people we're losing unexpectedly. Like you can come spend one day with me um, and you know, it made me think with my heart condition. Um, my dad had a heart attack at 24 and it's like, I've had a few close calls with my heart. And honestly, just recently, when was that? In January, I um, had some issues with my heart again. So it's like, you know, it made me think life is very short and we're never promised tomorrow. So, you know, I, I've achieved what I wanted with this challenge. I've got tighter, I got my period back, I feel good but you know it's okay to have like some fun too and that's what i've really been trying to promote since i did my last show in november is balanced life and i've been having so much fun and to be honest with you this challenge i've been somewhat like miserable because i just am like telling people no again and not doing things and just being so strict i'm like either all in i mean i'm never all out <laughs> i'm always all in or having the balance um and I've been all in. Honestly, to be honest with you, this, this challenge has been like prep to me. I've just treated it like a prep. I've been very strict and you know, it's just, it's what I know. Um, so I haven't, but we are going to go have sushi tonight with Joey and Michael, which I'm getting clean rolls. So, um, but I don't know, you know, if we go out exploring this weekend, I'm going to make healthy choices. But like, if I want to have a drink with my husband, I'm going to, I guess, um, I am, you know, I just feel like the way life is. Sorry, I really wanted to have a sip of this. <laughs> but the way life is, it's like, it's too short. And I even like promote to all my clients. It's like, I have my clients have untracked meals and go have a drink on the weekend if they want with their friends and family. Like life is about making memories. It's not about being so strict. And what happens is, is when people get so strict on diets, they fall off because they like crave life. 
It's not that they're craving food necessarily or alcohol. Like I'm not craving to go have a drink. I'm craving that experience, like that life experience. Like we're going to go check out these new places and we found this cool carousel bar and like why not have one drink while I'm there? Like I'm in good shape. I've gotten my core tighter. I mean, right now I'm only nine pounds for my stage weight and I'm about to be 20 weeks post-show in a couple days. Like, you know, I'm doing just fine. So um, I'll keep you guys posted because it's like I, I told Nick yesterday, yeah, you know what, let's do it. I'm doing whatever, like I'm going with the flow with my husband. And then this morning I woke up, got on the treadmill, did my fasted cardio, and I'm like, no, like I'm sticking to this damn challenge. I don't quit nothing, I'm not a quitter, but you know, we'll just see what happens. So I'll keep you guys posted, but that's my thoughts right now. Um, so comment below, uh, what do you guys think? Like, would you rather be in a strict diet and just follow it all through? Or would you rather be in a diet with having a little balance? I think the majority of people in life would want to have balance in their life. So yeah, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on that. What's up, what's up guys? So I don't have any makeup on or anything. I just did some fasted cardio. Um, so I hit a new low weight this morning and last night I had some sushi rolls. I just had a cucumber wrap tuna roll and then just a plain tuna roll with rice. And then I had my delights and I actually ended up having an espresso martini. Broke the uh, no alcohol trend, but Nick wanted me to and he convinced me and it was National Espresso Martini Day, which I never fall for that kind of stuff. But so I had one drink, um, two clean sushi rolls and some delights ice cream and I dropped weight. So yeah, I just did my fast cardio and we're going to go explore today. Also, I always take the stairs. No elevators up in here. Okay, Nick's over there heating up a cinnamon roll and I'm making my greens drink here. So you guys can see it. Um, I'm cutting my head off because <laughs> I just woke up and yeah. Nick, show me your cinnamon roll. Mm. So yeah. We got the Alpha Amino Blue Raspberry. I just do this for a little flavor in my greens. God, that cinnamon roll smells amazing. Oh my God. I'm about to put cinnamon in my egg whites. Berry greens. And glutamine. Okay, so we just went to Tarpon Springs, checked it out, explored, and we went to this candy shop and we got Warheads. You guys remember Warheads? So we said we were each gonna get what our favorite flavor was and see how sour they are. I got black cherry, he's got lemon. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my mouth is already like puckering. Do we really have melted? Yeah, they're like all melted. Yikes. My mouth is already like puckery before I even put it in. Puckery? Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh! <Ooh. laughs> oh! How's yours? Good. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It only lasts a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, the black cherry is definitely the most sour. Look at my reaction compared to hers. Her, I mean his. So comment below if you ever have warheads and which one you think was the most sour. Okay. We are dead. Dead. We just did a shoulder workout that was like high volume. I can't even hardly hold this camera up. I feel like out of breath just from training. We didn't even do cardio or abs, like just shoulders. Um, Nick said he's not used to this. Let's see if I got a pump. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see in here, but we're dead. We did. We did. Good morning. What's up, you guys? 
So this morning I got up super early um, and I'm already back from doing cardio and a leg day and it's only 7.30 a.m. I have 10 patients today, so crazy busy day. I only slept four hours last night. I just do not know what's going on. The last like two weeks, I've only slept about four to five hours a night and it is catching up big time. I am dying and I have tried everything. Um, a lot of it is I've been having a lot of upper neck, upper back and neck pain. Um, so I've been in six car accidents, fun fact, in case you guys didn't know that about me. And I feel like it's just catching up with me. Um, so I'm going to try and book a massage this week and then I'm seeing a doctor on Friday. So hopefully something will come out of that. But anyways, so my friend Dean, um, he goes to my gym. You guys may have know him. He's a huge ax and sledge guy. He used to do bodybuilding competitions. Anyways, my favorite protein powder extend who I'm sponsored by. I love their stuff. I put it in my coffee. You guys know I make my egg white pancakes. Um, they quit making it. They say they're going to come out with another one, but they don't know when. I don't really think they're going to. I think they're turning more towards just, you know, BCAAs and energy drinks. So yeah, they quit making their protein powder and I'm really sad because it's my favorite. So I've been like trying all these different protein powders and spending a crap load of money. So I messaged Dean. I was like, Hey, could I just try some samples of some Axe and Sludge stuff you have? Um, just so I quit wasting all this money and find one I really like. Um, I've never tried any Axe and Sledge protein powder before. So we exchanged, I gave him some drizzle cookies and you guys, he hooked me up. He gave me 13 flavors to try, I'm about to show you. So yeah, I'm about to have some fun with these flavors. I'm going to put some of my coffee, make my protein pancakes and some Ninja Creamies. So I'll get back to you guys with which flavor is my favorite and hopefully this can be a new protein powder for me. Anyways, today is day 18 of my 30 day challenge, which you guys know I had a couple drinks over the weekend. Um, I talked about it in one of my previous clips, um, but I am, I did not cheat on my diet. I stuck to my diet, I ate clean food. So I just had a couple drinks and I am sticking to my plan, um, my diet. So yes, I did not meet the challenge 100%, but my workouts have been insane. I'm sticking to a workout split and I'm so proud of that. I'm feeling stronger and it's just making me feel so good in the gym. Um, I feel like my shoulders are looking better. And um, today I just hip thrust 340 pounds. So I'm, just, I'm so happy, man. So like, my gym has been good, my diet's been good, I got my period back, so yeah, I I'm still think this is a win, and I'm human, and you know, I'm just realizing that life is life, and I just wanna have true balance here, and uh, yeah, so follow along. Okay, so the first protein powder I'm trying is the iced sugar cookie. Let's see. It smells good. That's actually really good. That's good. I like this better than any of the protein powders I've tried so far. Um, very creamy. Makes a perfect creamer for your coffee. So... Ice sugar cookie from Axe and Sledge is a plus so far. So if I don't like any other ones, I'm definitely buying that one. This is really good.